and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day today. So in today's video, we are going to be testing out a whole bunch of new products full face of first impressions as you've seen by the title. I really love filming these videos, they're a lot of fun, you never know how it's going to turn out. So I obviously created this look with a bunch of new products, I didn't know how it was going to go, but yeah. <laughs> If you guys want to see how I got on with these new products, the things I like, the things I don't like, the things I really don't like, <laughs> then just keep watching. Anyway, I am going to stop rambling. I really hope you guys enjoy the video and I shall see you in the next clip. So to prime my face, I used the Revolution Pro Hydrating Primer Serum. It's described as a thirst quenching primer infused with collagen and antioxidants mattifies and preps the skin for makeup application and i love the packaging of this i said that in my unboxing video if you watched that so bougie looks really really nice so it's a hydrating matte primer which was why i brought it because although i want my skin to be matte i also want my skin to get all the hydration that it needs and it's been on my skin for a minute or two now it feels really nice it feels when you first put it on it feels like almost liquidy and now that it's sitting on my skin for a little bit it definitely feels hydrating it doesn't have a tack to it really so i'm not sure how it's gonna do like anything crazy for my foundation and stuff sticking to it but we shall see I'm gonna just jump off camera and do my brows now because I don't have a new brow product to try. I'm pretty sure that's the only new thing I don't have. So I'm gonna jump off camera, do my brows, and then I shall let you know how the primer is holding up after that, I suppose. Okay, so brows are done, looking very bold. <laughs> I think I went a little bit ham on the brows today, to be honest, but it is what it is. Sorry, let's just get comfortable. So. I dipped my brow, so my primer has had time to sit and set for a bit. My face feels very smooth. It doesn't feel dry at all, which is amazing. It doesn't feel matte though. Like it says it's a matte primer. I wouldn't say this feels matte. Um, I just have a look in this mirror. It looks, does it look glowy? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm used to using like matte primers that it looks glowy to me, but I don't to me it looks glowy and um it actually now does have a bit of a tack like it feels a little bit almost sticky not too much just a little bit but yeah it seems okay i'm hoping my foundation is going to stick to it really well but yeah overall i'm quite happy with the primer so far so i am just gonna quickly jump off camera again and i'm gonna prime my eyes for eyeshadow so i'm gonna quickly jump off camera and do that and then i'll be back and i will show you what eyeshadow palette we're using today okay so eyes are primed and we're gonna now go in with the norvina anastasia beverly hills palette i can't wait to use this palette i've not touched it since i brought it so i'm really excited to use it it's got some stunning shades in here i can't wait to use it and i think i kind of know where i want to go with this look i'm not going to do anything too drastic so yeah something nice and easy i think okay so the first shade that i'm going to use is called incense and it's the palest like brown shade in the palette so i'm just going to be working this shade in to the crease first and i did just use it on my other eye first just to get a feel for the shade and um, for me personally i would say this is like quite a cool toned brown which i'm not mad at to be honest because a lot of my palettes are warm toned so it's quite nice to have like a different kind of eyeshadow palette if that makes sense i don't have very many cool tone palettes like i'm trying to think of any that i have and i, I personally don't have a lot i know that because i i always gravitate towards a warm tone palette there is a fair bit of kickback in the pan by the way jesus that crow was loud yeah there's quite a lot of kickback in the pan which personally doesn't bother me but if it bothers you then there is a lot but i find that you get that with all anastasia palettes so yeah the formula of the eyeshadows is stunning as always super pigmented really nice seems to be blending out nicely too 
not really a bad word I can say about it yet. So hopefully the next shade blends into this one really nicely. Okay, so now I'm just going in with the shade Passion. And I like this shade again. It's more of a cool toned, like, movie kind of brown. I really like it. It's really nice. I don't think I have a shade like this in my, like, eyeshadow collection in general. So I'm really glad I chose to use this shade. And when I used it on my other eye, it blended into, um the shade incense really nicely yeah they just blended into each other beautifully um no problems there at all i did have to um build it up a little bit but that doesn't bother me at all either i would sooner go in lightly and then build up after than have too much eyeshadow down and have no place for it to go again with this shade there was um a lot of kickback in the pan but like i said it doesn't bother me i just then pick it up when i go in with the shade on the other eye so it really doesn't bother me but again if it bothers you there is kickback in the pan but like i said earlier i do find that you get that with all anastasia palettes okay so now i'm gonna go in with the shades celestial and drama which are the two purple shades in the palette they're both shimmer shades i'm gonna put the shade celestial on the innermost part of my eye and then i'm gonna blend drama into the outer section of my eye I did find with a Celestial, I had to build it up quite a bit. It's quite sheer when it first goes on. I did wet my brush to intensify the shimmer shades a little bit. Um, drama went on really nicely though and blended into Celestial really nicely. No problems with drama, but Celestial was a little bit harder to work with. Okay, so this is what I come up with on the eyes. Definitely something very new and different for me, but I really like it. I never really wear purples on my eyes. I never really wear cool toned shades on my eyes either, but I'm really quite liking it. And I can see myself reaching for this palette a lot. The only shade that I'm not too keen on is that Celestial shade. It's really hard to build up and I don't know, like I just wanted it to pop as much as it does in the pan, which I don't really feel like it does, which is a shame because it was one of the shades that drew me in to buy the palette. But the shade drama was, it's beautiful. It's so nice and it went on really pigmented as well. So I'm gonna try out some of the other shimmers when I use the palette a little bit more. But the mattes as always are amazing. I love Anastasia eyeshadows, they're beautiful. So yeah, hopefully a lot of the shimmer shades are nice as well because like half of the palette is shimmer shades so I'm hoping that they are good. But I'm just going to quickly clean up my under eyes now and just wing out my eyeshadow a little bit and then we will be back for foundation. Okie dokie, so this is the eyes basically complete until I do under eyes. But now on to foundation and the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the matte base pore blurring full coverage foundation. That was a mouthful <laughs> from Revolution. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use this because I've not used it yet. Still got all the packaging on. I brought this a while ago and kind of just forgot I had it. So I'm gonna try it out today. It's the, sorry, I'm getting comfortable. It's the only um, new foundation I have to try. It's in the shade F3. I don't know if I swatched this in the shop. Don't know if it's gonna be the right shade, but I guess we will find out together. Can't get the seal off. So it is in a squeezy tube, which I personally don't mind. I prefer a pump, if I'm gonna be honest, but a squeezy tube is better than having to tip it out on the back of my hand, to be honest. I literally can't get this off, I need some tweezers. One day I'm gonna learn to do this before I start filming the video. Okay, there we go. Most of it is off. I'm really hoping the shade is gonna be okay because I have got to go to the shops later so hopefully it will be an okay shade so i'm just gonna pop this all over my face and then blend it out basically as always i don't know how runny it is okay why does half of the tube feel empty wait what oh my god guys so if i just tip it like this half of this is empty me what on earth a waste of packaging 
Okay, that shade doesn't look too bad. It seems kind of thick. I'm not gonna put loads on. I'll probably just leave it at that for now and then add more if I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this out. Oh, let me get me foundation brushes. I washed all my brushes the other day, by the way, guys. So proud of myself. I know what a big girl I am. Also, I know my hair looks crazy. I had not long got out of the bath when I started filming this video. Um, and I tied my hair because I didn't want to wash it yet. So, oh, coverage seems good. I had a pimple down here that was like healing, and it is just covered that straight up. I'm gonna have to read the claims once this is all blended in, I think, because that was that was impressive. Avoid them big thick eyebrows I've drew on. Okay, so the colour match seems quite good. I do think it's more of a pink shade than a yellow shade, which I personally need more of a yellow toned foundation because the skin on my face is more pink toned, but the skin on my body is more yellow toned so that's what i match it to and this definitely seems a little bit more pink to me personally it seems to be blending out nicely once i blend it in with my sponge in a second i'll know like better um how it looks because right now it seems nice and full coverage but i just want to um blend it out with the sponge as well to see how well it blends out with the sponge afterwards. Okay, so I'm sorry if you can hear like construction going on in the background. I don't know what's going on around here lately, but there is a lot of noise going on. We just get comfy again. So this foundation blended out lovely. It's definitely a matte foundation. Um, it doesn't seem to have come to any dry patches though. Like this pimple down here, I don't know whether you can see it. I can definitely see it a little bit now. It, um, it has a lot of dry skin around it because it's healing. And it's not clung to any of that. I don't know of any other dry patches of skin that I might have. But if there was any dry patches on my face, it's definitely not clinging to them. Yeah, it blended out lovely. I'm not sure if that's because of the more hydrating primer that I used. It doesn't seem to have caked up anywhere. Um, so what did this claim to be? Pore blurring. Oh, I didn't think of that. Let me just pull my mirror a bit closer to me. Oh my god, it, it. Oh my god, guys. That is definitely, definitely a pore blowing foundation. Oh my god. Pores? Where you at, hon? I don't see no pores. What on earth? Beautiful. No way. So, yeah, definitely would agree with pore blowing. Full coverage. Mm, it might be full coverage. It's got really good coverage. I wouldn't necessarily say full like i said i do have a pimple down here it is very very red and it is healing and i can still see it peeking through maybe it would like build up but i personally don't want to put another layer of foundation on my face right now so i don't know i would say more medium coverage it's definitely got good coverage so i would say medium to full let's be nice and um yeah that's all it says basically I don't think it claims to do anything else. No. So pore blurring, 100%, definitely a pore blurring foundation. And yeah, it's got pretty damn good coverage. And it definitely is a matte foundation. I'm not sure whether it's looking a little bit glowy because of the primer that we used. But love it. It looks really, really nice. Hopefully it lasts a really long time too. So now I just wanted to quickly go in and do a little bit of like cream contour, cream bronzing. I'm just going to use my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick because I want to see how well it applies on top of this foundation. I have used this before so it's not a first impression so I'm just going to quickly jump off camera and do that and then I'll be back because we're going to be doing some liquid highlighting so the bronzer blended over beautifully um yeah really really liked how the bronzer looks um i might just turn this brightness up a tad yeah maybe there that looks a little bit better and now i think i'm actually i was going to do concealer first but i think i actually want to do the liquid highlighter first just in case if it goes to pot I can um, hide it with concealer. That's the plan. How do I even get into this? Oh, I really need to learn to start opening packaging before I do videos. So this is a Primark, um, I 
think it's a liquid highlighter. It says liquid glow. P.S. Liquid Glow in the shade Champagne. It says illuminating drops, instant radiance. So I'm gonna try and use it as a liquid highlighter, but we shall see how it goes. And I think I'm just gonna do a few drops and I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. Oh, this looks nice. This looks like a nice shade, okie dokie. Okay, no joke, I think my pipette is broken. I honestly think it's broken. So what I'm gonna do, I really need to bring this mirror a bit closer. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to just dot it on like that. And then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Hmm. It's definitely added a glow, that's quite nice. Oh, I quite like that actually. Yeah, I honestly think that the pipette is broken. Oh no, maybe not. We've got a little bit there. So I don't know how well you guys can see, but it has just left a really nice, like, subtle glow on my skin. I really quite like that. I think I'm gonna use it a lot. Now I kind of wish I did the um, concealer first because now I'm gonna cover a lot of that up anyway. I am just going to blend in just underneath it a little bit, just to make sure it is all blended in with my foundation. But yeah, that looks really nice. Like it's just left a nice little glow. I'm really happy with that. I'm glad I used that today. So now I'm really excited for this bit to be honest. I'm going to be going in with a new concealer that I unboxed recently. And it is the Revolution Conceal Undefined Infinite Concealer. It's a long wear concealer. It says crease proof with niacinamide. Niacinamide, I think that's what it says and then it says infinite coverage um i got mine in the shade c 0.5 it says it's um a 16 hour wear concealer and it says 20 percent more coverage so nice so we're gonna give this a go today i'm not gonna apply too much because i actually have got into the habit of not using too much concealer anymore so let's just see how far that goes it smells like paint. <laughs> so let's just see how far that goes. And then if we need more, we can add more. Okay, so the colour I chose is really nice. It's really brightening. I think I do just want a little bit more. Okay, so it's definitely done a good job at brightening up my under eyes. And I have really quite creasy eyelids and there's no product as far as i can see like clumping up in my creasy under eyes <laughs> um so that's good yeah that's really good to be honest i don't know if we can still see any glow though i'll be able to see better on this side because there's like natural what is the word i'm looking for daylight coming in this way so yeah Oh, and I left this side to sit for a bit. It doesn't seem to have stuck and not blending out at all. It seems to just be blending out nicely. Okay. That looks really nice. And I think I can still see a little bit of a glow. Can I? Can I? Or am I imagining it? No, I do. I do think I can still see a bit of a glow. And it blended out really nicely as well. And it's definitely gave me a lot of coverage. So I'm really, really happy with that, to be honest. I'm glad I brought it. Hopefully it lasts a long time. But hopefully I found a new fave here because that seems really, really nice. Um, I'm not actually going to add any more liquid highlighter because we're now going to go in with setting powder. And the setting powder that I'm going to use today, there's a lot of revolution in this video, by the way, just because if you guys seen, I did a revolution haul the other day to get a mystery bag and show you guys what you get in the mystery bag. So yeah, there's a lot of revolution in this video, but next up we're gonna be using the revolution translucent setting powder. This is the, I can't remember what this setting powder is called. I thought it would say on it, but it just says revolution translucent setting powder. I think it's the Conceal and Define setting powder again, but don't please don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. How do I get this sticker off? There's not even a tab for me to pull. Fantastic, I'm gonna go and get this off. I'm gonna then bake my under eyes and set my face and I'll tell you guys my opinions on it when I get back, basically. Okay, so my face is all set and it does feel pretty set. It still feels a little bit tacky in certain areas, but 
for the most part it feels set i don't think it's gonna move at all all day my under eyes feels really set where i baked it to be honest so there's that um the powder i don't know the powder itself it's really finely milled which i really really like it really has mattified my under eye a lot um and it's definitely like set i can feel that it's set it feels great um the rest of my face feels set like like i said it's just did you hear my stomach then <laughs> it's um it feels a little bit tacky in certain areas but i feel like that's because not because of the actual powder i feel like the powder itself is lovely but the packaging i don't like it it's so messy i really struggle to get the powder out usually i would use my sponge to set my face i have done for ages now it's just how i prefer to set my face but because of this powder like if i open it this is gonna be so messy if i open it there's powder like everywhere and it's really hard to get it out of the like um sifter whole things because it's in the tub when i was like patting it it would literally go everywhere i couldn't obviously tip it up that upside down because then it's going to go everywhere and when i tipped it upside down with the lid closed and shook it when i opened it all the powder went everywhere like there is powder everywhere right now so i'm not a fan of the packaging it looks really nice and um it doesn't necessarily feel luxurious but it looks nice it looks really luxurious but it doesn't feel luxurious if that makes any sense but yeah i'm not a massive fan of the design of how you get the powder out to be honest which isn't yeah and i feel like i don't know why i don't it's not looking like it on camera i don't think anyway but in real life under my eyes looks really white right now which that's a translucent powder so it really shouldn't do that it says talc free and no flashback on water resistant so yeah uh i don't know i really i don't know i'm just um patting over it with my sponge as well just to make sure that it's really in there because usually i would use a sponge to set my face so i'm just hoping that that is set enough <laughs> um i'm just quickly going to do my under eyes with the norvina palette i'm just going to use the two shades that we used earlier the two matte shades and then I'm going to set my face so I'm just quickly going to do my under eyes and then I'll be back and show you which setting spray we're using today okay so that is the under eyes done really happy with the Norvina palette really like this palette haven't really got a bad word to say about it to be honest um I really don't think I'm a fan of that powder I cannot wait to set my face and hopefully it will soak in a little bit so I'm actually going to do that now so this is the revolution hyaluronic fix hydrating and plumping fixing spray I can't wait to use this because Rachel Leary raves about this all the time so I'm going to use this now and then I'm going to leave it to dry for a little bit hopefully it's going to sort out this powdering mess on my face I don't know I really really don't like that setting um powder i'm gonna give it another go maybe with a different foundation it might just not mesh well with that foundation but at the minute i'm not loving it at all like usually i'll know almost straight away if i like a setting powder or not so i'm gonna go ahead and use this sort me out please oh. anyone else get hungry during doing their makeup or is that just me <laughs> the construction workers are really doing my head in now i'm really sorry about that guys i can't help it they wasn't there when i started filming and i didn't expect them to be there either so we're just gonna push on through that setting spray has done wonders my face doesn't feel tacky anywhere now at all it definitely feels like it is set my face it's helped to push a lot of that powder into my skin as well melt it into the other products that was on my face it felt quite cooling i'm not sure if it's supposed to feel like that but it felt cooling yeah it's genuinely done quite a good job and it's not making me feel oily yet but obviously there is time for that <laughs> so now i'm going to go in with bronzer and the bronzer i'm going to be using today is the bh cosmetics brilliance bronzer 
in golden gal this is what the packaging looks like and honestly this is what sold me this packaging looks gorgeous and this is what the bronzer looks like it looks super pale so genuinely really excited to use this it has got a shimmer in it so it's not a matte bronzer but that doesn't bother me i really used to love my shimmery bronzers I'm more into a matte bronzer at the minute but as we're getting closer and closer into like spring and summer shimmery bronzers are definitely going to be coming back so let me get me brush okay so what i'm getting from it so far is it seems quite pigmented and it seems to it likes to kind of not stick because it does blend out but where you put it it definitely stays like the pigment stays there even though it blends out i kind of don't know how to explain it i'm not a makeup artist like i just chuck products on my face and hope for the best you know i've kind of self-taught myself how to do my makeup you know so no professional terms going on here at all have we got a sheen i don't know you know it looks shimmery in the pan but mm, i don't really know if it has a sheen okay so i'm not crazy crazy about this bronzer to be honest i like the color of it um it's nice it's not too pigmented but i don't know there's something about it that i don't really like and i can't quite pinpoint what it is i'm just going over with my just to make sure it's not too harsh anyway there's definitely something about it that i don't like and i'm not too sure what it is i don't know i really can't say like what is bothering me about it but you know like when you just you you're looking at your face and something just looks off that's definitely what has just happened to me there and i don't know like i can't see myself reaching for it too much i just feel like i have better i don't hate it but i don't necessarily love it either and now i'm going back in with this shambles basically and i'm just going to oh, see it's just gone all over me oh anyway i'm just going to do a little bit of reverse contouring if i can get any powder out of here that is okay so we actually managed to get a little bit of reverse contouring going on so that's good and now whilst that sets i'm going to be using this palette which if you watch the video i cannot say the name of this palette i honestly don't know what it is called but it looks stunning i can't wait to use it i honestly was gonna do like a full video on this palette but yeah i'm just gonna use it for the blusher today which is loves hue i think that's what it says so yeah we're just gonna be using it for blusher today Okay, it seems quite pigmented. It's picked up on the brush really, really nicely. <gasps> oh no! It is literally sitting like, oh no, why? I said the blusher is gonna be the thing that's gonna ruin this makeup. No way. It's got a shimmer to it, this blush has, by the way very pigmented and quite hard to blend to be honest oh right i'm so scared Ooh. okay if you go in with a really 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 light hand and just literally like pat in the shade it's not that bad <laughs> um i don't know i'm a little bit scared of this blusher it has a really nice sheen to it. The colour's quite nice. I feel like it might be a little bit too dark for me personally, but I feel like I've just about got away with it. And that's where we're going to leave it at. Um, don't think I'm going to reach for that blush again. And that's that. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to have to try the palette out for the shimmer and the highlighter. For the shimmer and the highlighter. For the highlighter and the bronzer and also the eyeshadows and hopefully they're a bit better that was scary so now i'm gonna go in with highlight and the highlight i'm gonna be using is the revolution strobe highlighter in flash this does look like it has a green reflect to it but i'm hoping it won't look green on my face because that's really not gonna go okay so going in with our usual highlighter brush even on my brush it looks green oh god does it look green i don't really know it's blinding it's beaming yeah it definitely has a green shift to it a hundred percent it's so beaming though 
I really wish it didn't have the green shift. I'm going to go on the website and see if there's another shade of this because that is stunning. So beaming. Beautiful formula. It's really not dry at all. Give ourselves a green milk moustache because why not? Look at that. That is, oh my God. My skin looks like wet. Like what? Look at it. I honestly, that highlighter is lovely. I'm so like gutted it's green basically. It literally looks green, but oh my God, that is beautiful. Definitely gonna see if they have the same strobe highlighter, but in a different shade because that is stunning. Oh my God. Okay, so what do we have left to do now? Lips and mascara, I think. Oh, I don't have any brow gel to try. I'm gonna jump off camera and apply some brow gel, then I will be back to do mascara. But now I'm going to be using the Essence Last Prince La Blah, I can't speak. Now I'm going to be using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I've heard some really good things about this. Um, so I'm really excited to try it to be honest because it's super super cheap. Essence is a really cheap and affordable brand so I'm going to give this a go. So here goes nothing. Oh nice wand. Big long wand. It seems to be gripping my lashes nicely. I've not curled my lashes by the way. I really like this brush. I feel like it um, is gripping my lashes really well. And the mascara itself isn't too wet, so it doesn't feel like it's gonna transfer. It doesn't feel too clumpy, it doesn't look too clumpy. This feels like a really, really, really nice mascara. Dude, like, honestly, this is making my lashes look so long, so, like, voluminous, like, and it's really not clumpy at all, not so far anyway. This is, I'm using two coats of it right now. Yeah, it feels really, really nice. Okay, so regarding the mascara, it went a little bit clumpier on my lower lashes, which I can't really understand why. Um, and my application on my lower lashes was so messy. I don't know what was going off there. But yeah, it looks really nice. Um, my lashes look really long. I know you probably can't see through this um, eyeshadow look, but honestly in real life they look really really nice and i just realized i haven't done inner corner highlight what a loser i'm just gonna wipe off this big i'm gonna then reset my face oh my god i haven't reset my face and i've just put mascara on Ooh, oh no i'm gonna have to do it in sections <laughs> so i'm just gonna wipe off this big real fast i feel like that setting powder just wants to stick and i don't know why uh yeah not a fan of the setting powder i can tell you that now because it is a nightmare i'll stick to my rcma no color powder thank you very much and then i'm just gonna set my face with the hyaluronic fix setting spray and i'm just going to cover my eyes it feels so nice <laughs> it feels so like cooling so yeah i'm gonna leave this to set for a little bit and i'm gonna get rid of the mascara from under my eyes um once it dries and then i will be back to do the lips okay so looking a little bit crazy i've just gone ahead and lined my lips because now we're going to be doing lipstick and i'm going to be using this ted baker lipstick in does it have a shade name i don't think it has a shade name but it says it's a lip balm lipstick so um it's a brown shade and that's why i've done a lip liner just to give it something you know but i have left the middle of my lips bare so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and apply this i'm not 100 percent sure you can get this anymore i did get it for christmas so if not i'm really sorry about that but i did really want to try it out today and i don't really have any new lipsticks to try so this is what i'm working with mm, it's very creamy and it definitely feels more like a lip balm than a lipstick. It's not drying at all. And I feel like that looks 
quite nice to be honest and I feel like I paired the lip liner with it quite nicely as well I'm really quite happy with that to be honest I wasn't really expecting it to be that good like I don't know what I was really expecting I never tried anything by Ted Baker before I didn't even really know Ted Baker did makeup so yeah I'm quite happy with that it feels really really comfortable really really nice my hair looks insane now i cannot wait to go and sort my hair out but that is basically the end of the video and i feel like we did quite good like i feel like we've we had a good bunch of products i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if there's any products that you want me to try in the future please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll purchase them when i can and try them out for you if you like videos like this where i test a whole bunch of new makeup all at the same time then let me know and i'll be happy to do more than for you but that is everything for today you guys thank you so much for joining me today don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you never miss an upload when it goes up and i shall see you all in the next one bye guys